KSPW Weather with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning for you. We're going to see some frost up in the Santa Cruz Mountains this morning, as well as Gilroy getting into Hollister and San Jose. Most locations around the beaches, we're seeing uh, mostly 40s uh, all the way down to Big Sur now at 50. Santa Cruz area and Capitola and SoCal, you can see a little frost there as well as temperatures still holding on to the 30s. Uh, winds are fairly light now, but we're losing some of the cloud cover as an upper level low continues to move farther south, touching some of that rainfall or slight chances uh, all the way down to Santa Barbara, Solvang, getting into more. Bay as well as uh, Santa Monica and Ventura County areas. You're going to see more of this cloud cover continue to push southward and eventually we'll get into some clearing with high pressure building in and that's going to give us uh, an opportunity for some warming here. Yeah, we're seeing rainfall and snow up in the Pacific Northwest and as you go across many of the states in the northern tier, you're going to see some good looking rainfall and snow cutting across all the way from say Bismarck getting into Chicago and then all the way in the Great Lakes. There you have it. There's rainfall, mix of rain and snow and then freezing rain getting into the northeast. All that rainfall is extending down into southern Texas where we can see a half an inch to an inch of rainfall continuing. So you're going to have a bumpy ride if you're going either west to east along much of the states today with all that turbulent uh, air. We'll see temperatures from 46 in New York, 52 in Chicago, down to 72 in Dallas, and then we're also going to see about 83 in Miami. Locally, we're going to see this uh, warming continue to build for us through today and tomorrow, so that means gradual warming. We'll see some mix of 50s and some low 60s by uh, Tuesday, and then Wednesday we'll see 60s as well as Thursday. Thursday. And then by Thursday night, uh, some of this moisture is going to bubble up a little tropical moisture saying hello to us. We could see a slight chance of some rainfall moving into our southern portions there in Monterey County, as well as Hollister and getting into San Benito County. Well, we'll extend a uh, high pressure to build a little bit more so, but it'll be fairly weak because another upper level low comes in, brings fresh powder to Tahoe. And we'll see breezy conditions out of that coming in from the northeast, skirting back down along the coastline. So we have a chance of rainfall there. Temperatures mostly in the 50s today, widespread until you get down to LA 61, but it's slightly chance of rainfall for them. 37 Lake Tahoe is going to hold on any type of snow that's in the vicinity. We'll go from 52 in San Francisco all the way down to the Santa Clara Valley looking at some mid to upper 50s. We'll see more of the same down through the valley as well, touching 57. So from the average temperature today, right down through the valley, you'll see 58 in Gonzales, about 59 or so for King City. We'll touch the mid 50s to upper 50s around the peninsula, clear through partly cloudy skies as those clouds continue to clear further going southward. We'll also get into the Santa Cruz Mountains with 55 as you get into Ben Lomond and Watsonville about 57 degrees with Santa Cruz slightly warmer. Warmer conditions for you through midweek. We're going to see cooler conditions uh, by the weekend and then the overnight temperatures are going to be cool yet again to downright cold. So prepare yourself.